Hello there, I hope you're all doing great. In the previous videos, we had successfully set up the Django project with Inertia.js. Also, we have integrated Tailwind CSS as well. Now, let's create a Todo app to know what we can do with this setup. To create an app, run the command python manage.py start app, and let's call this app to do's. It will create an app inside the project's directory. Once the app created, Let's create a view to show the list of the tasks to the user. For this, we define an index function inside views.py file, and it will return a HTTP response. Make sure to import it from Django. To make our project aware of our newly created tasks list view, we need to create a file called urls.py inside this todos app directory, and we need to add a URL pattern for the view that we have just created. Make sure to import views from the ToDo's app. Also import path from the Django. Now to make it work, we need to register the todos app URLs in our main project. To do that, go to urls.py file of the project and add a new pattern for the todos app. Make sure to import include function from the Django URLs. Let's check the app if everything is working fine so far. Run the server. Open Firefox and go to slash todos. And we can see the response. Now it's time to change the response of our newly created view to inertia response. Now it's time to change the response of our newly created view to inertia response. Go to code editor and open views.py of todos app and use the render function given by Inertia plugin, it will take two arguments. For us, second one is important, which is todos slash index. Also make changes in imports to make render function to work as expected. Todos here is directory, and index is Vue.js file. Check the app again, and we see nothing, as we are returning an Inertia response, but at the front end we have nothing to render, so in the browser. So, our next step is to create a directory inside pages and name it todos and create a file index.view inside it. This is the template which will render in the browser. Let's refresh the page and check, and it is working fine. It's time to create migrations for our app. Open the models of the app todos and create a model to do with the two columns. First column, let's name it task of char type. And the second is completed of Boolean type. Now, go to terminal and run python manage.py make migrations app name to do's. But first, we need to tell our project that we have new migrations to execute. Open settings.py and add app configuration to installed app array. Now try again. It must create migration files for our app. Finally run python manage.py migrate. It will create a table in the database. Next step is to insert some records from the shell. Run the command Python manage.py shell. And now we are in the shell. Let's import todo model and create three tasks. We can also check in the code editor if records are inserted. Indeed, they are. 
Now we need to pass these tasks to front end to do that open views.py of to do app and pass the third parameter to render function that is props, it will be available to us in the index.view file at front end. Next, open index.view and add script tag with the setup attribute. Define props and add tasks as a property of type array. We can access it in this template and iterate over it to list the tasks. Refresh the page and it should show the list of tasks that we have added from the back end. This is it for the day and don't forget to subscribe as in the next video we will use Tailwind CSS to beautify this page. Thanks for watching the video, I will see you in the next one.